Hey yo, what is going on guys? Fresh Brooks back here bringing you guys another video and today I'm going to be going over all every new Clone Wars minifigure that is going to be upcoming in the August 2021 wave or the summer 2021 wave. But anyway guys, real quick before we get into this, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to support the channel. We are trying to hit 400 subscribers by my birthday and I may do a giveaway if we can make it there. But first we actually have to... So, go drop a like and a subscribe. But anyway, let's hop right into this video. Alright guys, so coming up with the first set, we have Duel on Mandalorian, and we're going to go cheapest to most expensive. First up here, we have the Duel on Mandalorian, and this set includes two minifigures. First up here, we have the Ahsoka Tano minifigure from Season 7 of Clone Wars, and I honestly don't think this minifigure is too special. We did get it back in the AT, or the AAT, I think it was, back in 2020 of summer, in the Summer Wave, so not, it's pretty much just a reuse of that minifigure. Pretty special, though, honestly, it's the first time we've gotten an Ahsoka minifigure since the last, or since the Rebels set, so that's pretty cool, but there's the Ahsoka minifigure, honestly, I think it looks really good. Then, we have Darth Maul, and this minifigure is amazing, I'm so happy that they didn't just reuse the one from the character encyclopedia from, I want to say, 2019, but this minifigure just looks phenomenal, the legs are great. The torso is great, and then the head and horn piece, or just the regular mall head and horn piece. And then you got the double-bladed lightsaber, but that honestly looks amazing. I just like that it's all plain. It's Clone Wars Season 7. They didn't reuse anything. It looks great. Maybe if you wanted to, you could switch the legs out from the 2019 character encyclopedia one and this one. But honestly, I do think it looks great nonetheless. But anyway, let's hop into the next set. Alright guys, so next up here we have the Mandalorian Starfighter, and this set may be one of the best out of the waves, to be honest. It's between this and the Bad Batch Shuttle, I honestly don't know, but I really like them both. Starting off here, we'll go with Bo-Katan, this minifigure honestly looks amazing. I realize that they got the helmet print down, and then the body print down, it all just looks great, it's very accurate. If you take the... If you take the helmet off, she does have a head print, which looks great. You have the little headband on there, and then the hairpiece is a bit accurate, but not that accurate. But it does get the purpose done. It executes her hair well. The Gar Saxon minifigure, honestly, in this minifigure probably is the best minifigure in this set. It looks really nice. I really like the red and gray color scheme. The horns could be a little bit better, but it just does look honestly great. I really like the helmet, the body print. And then the blasters, I don't I don't know if I mentioned the blasters, but these blasters are very accurate to Mandalorian blasters. They came with the Sabine and the Rebel sets, so that's pretty cool. But these minifigures honestly do look good, and then the jetpack looks nice, and it's very, it matches the color of Gore Saxon's armor. So that looks great. And then finally, we got the Mandalorian Loyalist, and um, Lego, if you guys are watching this, um, take some notes. Maybe we could get a Mandalorian Loyalist Battle Pack, um, an upgrade from the 2012 one with these Mandalorian Loyalists. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, but I honestly think this minifigure looks really good. We got, it. it kind of, it's a brand new head print or helmet print from the 2012 one that was in the Battle Pack, but it honestly does look great. Torso print looks great, and then the legs look great. Also, just a very nice matching set of Mandalorians. It honestly looks very great. I really like all these minifigures. Maybe the best set out of the wave. I don't know. We'll have to see with the Bad Bad Shuttle once I get these two. But anyway, let's hop in to the final set, the Bad Bad Shuttle. Alright guys, and finally up here we have the Bad Bat Shuttle. Now, I did do an in-depth analysis, analysis video of why I think this set is amazing. If you want to check it out, it will be on the top card in the corner. But anyway, let's hop right into these minifigures. First up here we have Hunter, as Omega would say it. But we got Hunter. He looks great. The head print on him. All these minifigures do have special head prints too of like their actual character but the hunter head print looks amazing and the helmet looks great i really like all the gray red and black color schemes on these minifigures it does come with his essential weapons his knives so that's pretty cool wrecker also looks amazing i do think the iron man helmet does honestly look great on him 
I do like this new shoulder pad piece too that it uses. I like the skull on it or the Bad Batch logo that's on each side of the shoulder pad. The torso and legs honestly do look great. I believe it's the same one that uh, Hunter uses. So that's pretty cool. It does come with just a regular blaster and then his head print does look great. Very accurate to the show. Then we got Tech. His helmet does look a little bit oversized. I honestly don't know though. We'll have to see whenever I get this set. But it honestly does look great nonetheless. I really like the torso print, the leg print, and then the head print too looks great. And the helmet does honestly look very good. Except that it is a little bit oversized. It could have been scaled down a little bit. The blasters too. He does have those same blasters that the Mandalorians used in the Mandalorian Starfighter. Next up here we have Echo. And the helmet does look great in the uh, torso and leg print. But one thing I wanted to mention too is that he doesn't have the darker scone the darker toned skin like the other clone minifigures and that's because of the probably damage he encountered on Skako minor from all the programming they did and stuff like that but that's pretty cool i really like that minifigure and i really like how they did it got it accurate too to the show like he's not the same skin tone as all the other characters and then finally we got the crosshair and one thing i really would have liked lego to done is maybe maybe in an upcoming bad batch set we will get the crosshair bad batch minifigure but this one does look great nonetheless i really like the black armor and the green visor on it and then we did it, it was finally confirmed that we are getting a regular crosshair head print so that's pretty cool and then obviously we got the man himself the gonk droid what more can i say about him Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video on this review of all the minifigures that are coming in the new Clone Wars sets. I honestly do like all of these minifigures. Pretty much every set has an exclusive minifigure. And I know this is going off topic, but the Mandalorian set to do pretty much each have an exclusive minifigure. Maybe let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video about all the Mandalorian minifigures in those sets. But anyway guys, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Quick thanks to Lego Shop at Home. That's where I got all these minifigure images from. And some leak websites. Like I had to use the leaked crosshair face. Because they don't have an official one yet. But anyway guys. That is pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to support the channel. It really helps out. And I will see you guys in the next video. You know what I gotta say. Fresh Bricks out.